Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, we will go through pic 16 fa 7 a microcontrollers data sheet or I will simply show you how you can use its data sheet for grooming your project. So, let us get started. It is very simple. I will share you the link to the data sheet as well or just go to the Google and write down pic 16 fa 7 a data sheet like this and let me zoom in so you guys can see better. So, here you can see that this one, this over here microchip technology, this is the data sheet. I will share this link, this link will be in the description of this video. So, you can directly open the data sheet from here. Now guys, first of all, when you go to the data sheet, it shows its microchip PIC 16 F8 7 X. It means like all the 7 uh, PIC 8 F, uh, F8 double 7 7, 8, 7, 6, 7, 5, the complete series is covered in this data sheet. There may be 28 pin, 40 pin or 44 pin. The one we are going to discuss here is the 40 pin PIC 16 f 8 7 a microcontroller. So, let us uh, go down and see what is in this data sheet for us. So, go down, uh, the usual page is here. First of all, here you will learn the basics of your microcontroller. So, here he is showing four variants. That X represents that it might be PIC 16 f 8 73A, 76A, 74A or 77A. This is the one we are going to talk about here and this is the most easily available in the market and my channel has a lot of video on this microcontroller. So, it has a RISC CPU that what that sheet tells you and then it has only 35 single word instructions to learn. Maximum clock is the 20 megahertz. See, these are the important information and the highest speed that you can achieve is 200 nanosecond for an instruction cycle with this microcontroller. And now, this is an important information and uh, like whichever PIC microcontroller you have whenever you will open the data sheet you, from that is how you are going to extract your information. See 8K cross 14 words flash program memory. This means that maximum program size can be 8 kilobytes. So, whenever you compile your program in micro C at the bottom you get that it is 70 percent, 30 percent, 5 percent done. It is that this memory being utilized and this is a RAM and this is the EEP ROM. Now, if you go down here it is telling about the pin configuration PIC 16 f 7 a has 40 pins. Now, here this information gives you information about the peripherals and we have like three timers here timer 0, timer 1 and timer 2 like this and then when we go further down we get to know that it also has two PWM modules as uh, P1 PWM module and two pins as well and see they are very fast. 16 bit maximum resolution and 12.5 nanosecond is the maximum speed and it is a 10 bit resolution PWM. So, that is great and now you go further down it also tells you that you have SPI port and I square port as well and then you it tells you that you have a 9 bit address detection UART port as well see universal asynchronous receiver detection port and then when you go down it also tells you that you have certain other parallel slave ports RD, WR, CS these are located at the pin number uh, port E. And uh, then you have brown out detection circuitry as well and that is also a great feature, but of not much use. Now, this is important analog features. You have a 10 bit ADC module having 8 channels in PIC 16 fa 7 a and the analog module also allows you to use comparator as well. You have a comparator as well. This is very useful. Now, when you go down some other features are this, this, this are the like life and other special features. So, it can be dead or raise or write about more than 1 lakh times. That is a great number. See, then it can retain a program like uh, once you have programmed it, there is a guarantee that it will remain programmed with that program for more than 40 years. So, that is great feature because in the past the microcontrollers that we had in the market, they used to lose the program over the time. So, these microcontrollers are very rigid like more than 40 years is like half of a century. Now, uh, it has a very powerful ICSP programming tool using two pins. It can allow you to burn them and then 5 volt in circuit serial programming uh, using TX and RX pin that is UART port and then power saving sleep mode. Uh, they are not very important now CMOS technology. It means that it can work at low power high speed fully static design can op operate from 2.0 to 5.5 volt and commercial industrial temperature range. Its temperature range is very good good. Now, these information they are some sort of comparison and some important informations like which ports you have. You have SPI port in the PIC 16 fa 7 a this one the last one and you also have PWM port as well in the data sheet it is mentioned as CCP port. ADC channels you have 8 and EEP ROM you have 256 
and then you have timers 2 uh, 8 bit and 1 16 bit see and you have two comparators for the EDC pin. Now, if you go down there you have important uh, information that is the figure. Now, see that PIC 16 fa 7 a comes in two forms one is SMD form and if you have it in SMD form then you will follow this diagram and if your PIC 16 fa 7 a is in the DIP form this is the DIP form known as the dual in line package then this is your diagram here. Which diagram I use in my videos I had just uh, remade it using these pin out settings this is the original diagram see this is our port A over here A here from 2 pin number 2 to up to pin number 9 and then uh, sorry pin number here this is our port A then this is the port E 8 9 and 10 and these are the port A from pin number 2 to pin number 7 8 9 10 belongs to port E and then we have ADC pins on the port A these 4 pins excluding this AN0, AN1, AN0 here this is the ADC pin this is an ADC pin AN2 is an ADC pin AN3 this is not an ADC pin remember that in the port A one pin is not ADC and this is not an ADC pin that is A4 and then AN4 AN whichever is coming AN it is an ADC see it is an AN5, AN6, AN7 AN pins are all ADC pins so you have 8 ADC channels excluding this one AN4 this is not an ADC pin and then you have here oscillator pins VDD and VSS VDD is the power VSS is the ground and you have two VDD and VSS see and then guys we have oscillators like this see oscillator pin 1 oscillator pin 2 then you have port C here see uh, this is the port C till here and then the port D0 D1 pin number 1920 then again the port D and C they are like intermingled or till here and then we have port C till here and then we have port D here. So, these bottom side is port C and D uh, intermingled like this and this over here is a neat and clean port B see from B0 to B7 having 8 pins port B, port C, port D have 8 pins each and port A has less pins I think it is uh, from AN0 to AN4 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pins and then 3 pins for the port E and total of uh, only one pin out of these pin is not an ADC pin. So, we have 8 ADC channels that is what the data sheet says above. And now guys here you have your clock pin uh, CLK pin pin number 18 this is and this is used in the SPI and there you have data out and data in for the I square C only these two pins are required for SPI protocol you need this pin and also the SCK pins these three pins. And now guys for the TX and RX this is very important port this is the UART port hardware UART port. And now the software serial library is also allowed to turn other pins as uh, serial as well using the software serial. And now this pin is the external interrupt pin you only have one and here uh, the, you have two pins these are the CCP2 and this one CCP1 these are the PWM pin pin number 16 and 17 located on port C. So, you have PWM pins on port C and you also have the UART pins on the port C and you have the SPI and the I square pins on the port D simple as that. Now guys this is how you extract information from the data sheet and these are the most important information we had already extracted. Now the rest of the data sheet is just a detail like you are interested in using the timer 0 just you go down and you click on timer 0 it will lead you to this page that how the timer 0 operates. So rest of the information is just about uh, which function you want to explore further. So, the main information lies only above and now you will go to the glossary that is how the data sheet of any microchip microcontroller you can decode and use it to your fullest see. Now, in case from above I come to know that my application requires only the PWM. So, I will click on the PWM and now if uh, it comes to this that I want to use the SPI then I will simply click on SPI. I want to use the ADC module I will go to the ADC module I want to use the comparator just click on the comparator. And if I want to use any other special protocol then this is everything available here. If your microcontroller if you are using a better pick like pick 32 or DS pick then there will be more features here you just click on that feature it will lead you to that uh, particular page and then you can may, uh, learn how to use it like input output ports. Now it is telling you this is the port and this is the command you are going to use here and how you are going to configure it and this is the uh, bit of example program in the assembly language that how you are going to program it in the assembly and good thing about the micro C is that it automatically converts your C to uh, assembly and then the assembly is burned into the microcontroller. So guys this is it this is how you are going to extract information from the data sheet 
I hope this video is useful for you to get started with understanding the original document that is a data sheet and my videos will also help you in learning how to use the further protocols as well. So guys, uh, I will be very happy to know if you guys learned anything from this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment sections. So guys, we'll see you in the next video.